Hello there people, it is Brian here, and today I will be doing the Tower of Perilous Antipode, located in the Garden of Eshel. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so we begin in phase two of frame. I actually never knew that. Okay, anyways, so we begin by having this little B block section. It's not really too bad. Alright, just go up here now. Jump to here, go on to this little slant. Do a simple vertical truss flick. Jump here, go on the slant. And now we can actually cross the river now. Apparently rivers are dangerous in this in this tower. Although that actually kind of makes sense in real life too. Alright, so now we have to push the balloon there. Viewing area, I'm not going to go in there. Okay, anyways, yes, both slant. Dodge the kill brick here, jump to here, go up to cylinder. Now be careful on the spinning old platform. Alright, now you have to be careful, but you have to jump around these walls. <coughs> right as you're doing that. And now here, make sure to time this right, so like go and do it the way I did it. Go up here, jump here, now go on this little swing. Alright. Now this platform comes in and out. So be aware of that, go on the spinner now, and make sure to jump immediately up because this platform disappears as the writing says. And we are heading into floor 2, do not jump in the river nor lakes, okay. I can do that. Alright now just run across here, jump here, now we have to go down here actually, and then go on this platform. Alright jump to the spinner and this is the teleporter right here. Alright, so we have to jump around and land here. Now we go here. We enter this doorway. And it's basically just a little transition. Alright. Now we have to go onto this spinning platform. Alright, go here. We get the spot in. Now we can just go back. It's a little bit of bun progress, but not much. And we're already on floor 3. Now, these platforms fall basically right away. So yeah, don't do don't take your time on them. Have to rush them. There we go here. Be careful because it's a little you have to wrap around a slant platform. Alright, now you can climb this slant. Make sure to be careful because you're gonna get launched off and mess it up. Okay, well now you have to go on the elevator push just like how I did it. And now we have three challenges. Alright, let's start with the first one. This one well, you get chased, chased upwards by the swamp, I'd assume. I think that's a swamp. I'm not sure what else it could be. But it's pretty lenient. That's the first challenge right there, as you can see. Alright, now we get our jump removed. Kind of sad because it makes things a little more difficult than it should be. But it's fine. Alright. Now we have to time this wall. So do it like that. That was really good, actually. Didn't expect it to be that good. Okay, now we have a little balloon section. You can push this. Now we have 20 seconds to finish this, pretty lenient timer, unless you make mistakes like I'm doing right now. But even then, I still finished with 15 seconds. Alright, now moving on, be careful because that platform moves side to side. Now we have to jump here, then go in inwards like that onto the truss. We go here, jump around here, we could just go straight here, and we are already on floor four. Alright, we go here, jump here, now we have to go over here, just do a full circle basically, and you're fine. Now we have to go here, jump over here, now let's go back over here, and then back inside, like that. Now be careful because that often goes in and out. Remember about lakes? Yes, I do remember. You're not supposed to be touching them. Alright, we get this button. Now we don't have to worry about that lake. So now we can just go here. Oh, or we just skip, skip to here. There's like a two jumps that you could skip there. Alright, now just jump between the walls. And just like that, we are heading into 4 5. Alright, go on this ball. Now go here. That's can't collect balls, by the way. So remember that. I I why am I why why can't I not figure out where I'm supposed to go? I'm stupid. Okay, well 
Continuing on with the tower, we go on the spinner, go here. Now be careful here because that's gonna, that can easily knock you off, but you have quite a bit of time to get through it. Right, so now you're here, it's better if we go down here. We should probably wait another cycle, right, and go for it down. Now we have to get off right here. Remember that because if you take too long, you're gonna fall off. Now we go here and then we jump immediately onto your can't roll really waste much time there. Now we have to push this, jump here, and then we actually have to jump right there before the pusher goes back. Now we go here and jump around this wall while it's spinning. Go on the truss, go over here. And now we have to go to right, this platform over here, go here. Now I would recommend dodging the conveyors up, so you're going to probably get launched off. Now we are heading into 4-6. Or you go through it just like that. It's basically quite a just basically a filler section. It's not really worried too much about it because you can't really fall. Now this is a moving wall. You do like when it stops so that you don't get you don't really get thrown off much. Right now here I don't gonna be careful to do it like that. Free all schools for sale. No thanks. Right, so now we have a little pusher section. We have to push this platform over here. It might take a while, like as you can see, but the rest shouldn't be so bad. You don't even need to push, push the first one, you just do it like that. And we get the button, and you don't have to do that section again. Right now, we wrap around here, go here. Now, this platform moves upon up contact, so yeah. Okay. Now we just have to jump around the wall while it's moving and spinning. Now it's good. Similar to what we saw like at the very start, we have to go down the platform. Or we have to make it so that the platform turns downwards. Alright. And we are heading into 4-7. We are actually getting pretty deep. But we cannot touch the green spinner here. Remember that, because it could have like as you can see, I touched the green spinner right there. So it's actually not that punishing because well you have you barely have any gameplay afterwards. But here you have to be careful. You have to go like right when I went. Go like before you is you see it reach like that bottom red box. Now it's to bounce up here. Go here. We have to push this so that it can so that the turrets can launch hit the button. Now it's a little hard to control this, but as you can see, I just got it. Now we have a teleporter right here. All right, this platform raises and drops, so go jump for it when it's like fully raised. And be quick too. All right, so we have to go around like that. Now go here. Be careful here because you might hit a pole if you jump if you don't time the jump right. But now we have to go on these spinning blocks. Oh, and make sure to jump off before they hit the teleporter or remover or whatever because you might fall. Alright, now we have a little pusher section. So pressing the up button makes the push move up and then pressing down makes it move down. You have to do that over and over until you eventually make it. Now we go to a little elevator launcher and we're heading into floor 8. Looks like you might have to find another way to get up. As you can see, you can't actually get up this way. You have to go on these numbers. These numbers indicate where the platforms are. However, they, they don't say how tall the pl uh what height the platforms are, but that's okay as you can see. So not that bad, and you have a safe pad. Okay, now we have to do a little long jump onto here. I would highly recommend not touching the platform below me because you might fall. And by the way, these transparent platforms are can't play false. Forgot to mention that. All right. Now we go to the chest, get in this elevator thing, down, jump over here, then go here. Shouldn't be too bad gameplay considering how far you've made it. Go here, be careful with the spinner because it might be hard, a little hard to time. Now we have to jump here, go up here. Now we go into the chest. And I almost jumped down on accident, but thankfully that error saved me. Do a little head hitter, go around right here, go here. Now jump to the slam. Be careful here because you might get knocked off by that if you miss time to jump. Alright. Now we go here. We have to jump to here. 
Alright, and this is a little tricky jump because the transparent platform blocks where you're supposed to go, but just do it the way I did and it'll be fine. Alright, so now we have a little slant jump. And now, do not push the transparent platform, please. That would be a very sad way to go out. Stop making towers your horrible example. Isn't that the tower I'm playing right now? Oh, that doesn't make sense. Anyways, we have to jump over to here, here, then we go over here, and then here. Alright, now we have to push the pusher like wall on the truss. Now we have to flick off like that, and then jump over here. Go over here, we do a simple wrap around. Now go here, go on the slant, go around. Now we have to push this so that it makes the thing rotate and so we can get the bouncer like that. Like that. Ooh, a plant versus a zombie section. Well, if you're a zombie watching this, I feel I feel bad for you. There's no way you're making it out to survive. Okay, anyways, we are heading into the house. You don't actually need to really do anything here, you can just go up to slaughter. That only jump scared me the first time I actually played through this, but we are now actually heading to 410. I'm just, I know I skipped 49, I just can't figure out where it, at, where it begins. Okay, well, this is the beginning of the final floor. You have to go here, you have to climb, keep climbing the truss like how I'm doing right now, and dodging the little X block because that makes it so that the truss goes all the way back down to the bottom. You have to redo that again. And it can be quite frustrating if you fail it multiple times. Okay, so now we have a little spinner, go on the truss, jump around here, go here, then here. Now be really careful with the timing here because even now I was pretty thrown off the first time I tried this. But it's sort of like that. There you go here, then here. Don't jump on the transparent platform because you'll fall through, of course. Now this platform moves according to that message. This could have been indicated a little better. But yeah, oh. Make sure to dodge the, those spinners because I completely forgot that existed. Alright, for this little puzzle section, you have to put, rotate the spinner around like that so that eventually this green pusher, as you can see below me, gets, to that, gets through to that button over there. As you can see, we are now on the last layer. And we have gone the button, we can now move on. Right, we go here. Now we are we are done with the tower. Oh my gosh. You thought we have to do a launched jump to the wind pad. But there you have it. That is Tower of Perilous Antipode. Alright, thank you so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below what do you want to see me do next. Until then, I am Brian here, signing out.